Hey, this is Jeff Komar from Avid with the first in a series of new Turbo Tips for S6. A quick look into different topics of operation and workflow on the S6 console. For this module, we'll be looking at VCA masters and spill zones. Let's assume that you've already defined a spill zone composed of the eight faders you can see just to the left of my master and automation modules. First, press the L spill button, then the type button to display the track types available in the current session on the master module soft keys. When we select VCAs, it lights up our eight fader zone with our VCA masters color-coded pink on the menu switches to denote track types in the zone. We've got drums, bass, keys, guitars, and more. You can see V lead represents a lead vocal, and I see all the members of that group displayed vertically on the knob modules, which I can easily adjust. To quickly see what's in the lead vocal group, simply hold down the menu button and spill in place by choosing Spill L, which will carve off the available faders to the left of the selected channel. You can see that Vox Bridge is one of the channels, and I can, for example, access the effect sends shown on the knob modules above. To collapse the spilled zone, simply press any of the menu switches which are illuminated in light green to indicate they're part of a spilled VCA group. A different approach would be to load all the lead vocals directly into the zone. To accomplish this, simply hold menu again and press zone L to replace the current contents of the zone with the members of the lead vocal group. Now I have access to all the primary vocal tracks, lead, bridge, hook, on the surface where I can access sends, panning, and various plugin processing on those tracks. Press the menu switch to return to the previous view, which is all of our VCA masters. Next, let's take a look at nested VCAs. GVox All is a VCA controlling other VCAs for the gang vocals, split into three groups to provide easier management and balancing of these vocal tracks. We're gonna take advantage of the auto spill preference, which allows us to designate one of our spill zones to automatically place the spill group members into when the attention switch is pressed. Here you can see in the user preferences on the console, we've chosen the left spill zone, which is the same zone we're currently operating in now. By pressing attention on GVox All, we're spilling into the same eight fader container, and you can see the A, B, and C sub VCAs. If we attention group B, which is also a VCA, we're going down the tree to access the members of this nested group where I can access the balancing, send effects, EQs, or other parameter controls simply. If I press menu, I can return back up the tree to the three A, B, and C groups. Pressing menu a second time will take me back to my primary collection of VCA masters. To perform a spill in place on the bass track, hold on the menu switch and choose Spill R to spill locally, where you can see I now have access to my single bass track and can access the BX channel strip contained on this track as insert parameters. Simply press menu again on either track to collapse. To close a spill zone, simply hold the shift button down while pressing the zone switch, in this case the L spill button. Once again, to open a VCA zone, left spill, track type, then VCA masters. Let's check out one last workflow on our S6 console. We're gonna close the spill zone and application switch over to Dadman, which is the software used to control our Pro Tools matrix audio interface. The S6 is now showing the remote control microphone preamps with gain adjustable on the faders. Let's grab one of those preamps, say channel 10, and lock it off so we have high resolution access to the mic gain while we're working in Pro Tools. Hold down the attention key and press menu, which corresponds to lock you will see a little lock symbol now appear on the scribble strip. If we flip back to Pro Tools, the channel is locked in its location on the desk until I unlock it. Even if I bring up VCA masters in the spill zone, the lock channel still has precedence. I can even bank around within my zone using the user one and two switches and the preamp controls stay put. Simply hold attention while pressing menu to unlock the channel, now returning back to my VCAs.